Hey everybody, Roger Bauer here. Uh, the other day somebody asked me what do the numbers mean within the Google Insights tool. So I'm going to try to shed a little insight on that based on some statistical analysis and background and whatever else. I am at google.com and I'm going to do a search for the Insights tool. Why am I doing a search for it? Well sometimes search engines like to move stuff around and I don't want to misguide you and point you in the wrong direction. So as you can see we're going to click on google.com forward slash insights forward slash search. You see a little window like this that pops up. I'm going to go into the search bar and I'm going to type in Louisville real estate. And I'm also going to do a comparison with Louisville homes for sale. Come over here to my filter and I want to filter that down to United States. Scroll down here, click on United States, go to the right, click on search and there we have our results now what am I talking about what are the value what do the values mean inside the Google Insights tool over here you see totals and you see Louisville real estate is uh, depicted by the blue bar which gets a 74 Louisville homes for sale gets the red bar and its value for the current term is 23 so what the hell does 74 mean and what does 23 mean well I'm gonna show you let's go back to google.com and I'll go to the keyword tool do a search for keyword tool it should be the top result and there it is Google AdWords keyword tool which is located at uh, adwords.google.com forward slash select forward slash keyword tool external I want word I'm gonna click on that you'll see a page that comes like this if you don't have an AdWords account or a Google account or you haven't signed up for Gmail or anything like that you may have to register to do that but I'm assuming that you know how to do that and I'm not going to go into detail on how that is done we're going to do Louisville real estate again here and Louisville homes for sale come down enter the captcha phrase and then click on get keyword ideas little balls go back and forth boom there's our uh, results and you can see the top two results have our phrases and over here to the right I'm looking at the approximate average search volume and the reason I'm looking at that as opposed to the search volume in October is the average search volume will have the seasonality filtered out of it and that's what we want to look at let's say we're optimizing a site for the long haul doing a little SEO for it we want to do that for the long haul in most cases sometimes you want to optimize for a particular season like we've got the holiday season coming up so maybe you want to look at the October volume and then see how that compares with past data for November December January etc but I'll, I don't want to get off topic here so you see the approximate average search volume for Louisville real estate is 90,500 which that was our 74 over on the insights tool and then you see that Louisville homes for sale it says the average approximate search volume is 74,000. Okay, so how do we translate this back or combine this with that 74 and that 23 to make any sense out of it? Well, if you know how you statistically normalize a value, which all that allows you to do is compare drastically different numbers, apples to apples, or on a level playing field. So let's say you had a term that was receiving 2 million searches per month and you wanted to compare that with a term let's say that gets 20,000 searches a month and you wanted to see how the seasonality played into that those particular terms well that's how you would do it you would normalize the values and then you could graph it and compare them on a apples to apples basis well they normalize back to the highest value I know this sounds kinda of Greek and, and everything else but what all you'd have to do to find out what the high value is for let's say Louisville real estate is take the 90,500 that you see here this approximate average search volume and divide that by 0.74 which all that is is we're taking the 74 divide it by 100 because we're assuming that's a percentage of the all-time high for the analysis period and you come up with uh, 122,297 I'll show you how to do that I'll pop up calculator here 90,500 divided by 0.74 gives you 122,297 now for Louisville homes for sale you had 74,000 average searches per month and that got a 23 
so the all-time high for that particular term was 321,739. So okay, so now we have this, these top values or these all-time highs. What does that do for us? Let's go back to go back to the insights tool which is google.com forward slash insights forward slash search and put our two terms in here again come over here click our filter and filter for the United States Got too damn many countries in here but I digress <laughs> And you see you got your 74 and your 23. So now that we can attach a value to that 74 and a 23 to that value, let's say we want to find out the search volume for January 2007 for both numbers. Well, you can see that Louisville Real Estate got an 84 and Louisville Homes for Sale got a 36. So if I come back and, and bring my calculator up and I take that top value, which for Louisville Real Estate was 122,297, and I multiply that times 0.84. I'll come back up and I'll show you how I got that. That's that value, value up to the top right in blue. And I come up with 102,729.48. So Louisville Real Estate probably generated 122 or 102,729 for the month of January in 2007. Similarly, Louisville Homes for Sale if we take our top value, which is 321, 739 times 0.36, you get 115, 8, 826. So 115,826 searches in January 2007 for the term Louisville Homes for Sale. Now, I realize I went through, I ripped through this pretty quickly, but this will give you a rough idea of what these normalized values can translate into in terms of search volume for a past particular month. So now you can go back and figure out how many searches were performed in January 2007 or July of 2005, which it looks like Louisville Real Estate, that is the month it received its all-time high of 122,297. So you can kind of back into some numbers and you can also start to attach some values to this if you want to project out and predict what the traffic may be and then you can budget accordingly with your marketing. That's a totally different topic, but I hope this particular video has been useful, and we'll talk soon.